The gospel, it's a word that echoes through history, a beacon of hope for countless souls. But what exactly does it mean? Simply put, the gospel is good news. It's the most incredible news humanity has ever received, a message of love, redemption and eternal life centered around Jesus Christ. Imagine hearing that a cure had been found for a deadly disease or that a war-torn nation had finally reached peace. That's the kind of joy the gospel brings. It's a message that transcends cultures, languages and backgrounds, offering hope to every human heart. This good news is about God's love for us, a love so vast and unconditional that it led him to send his only son, Jesus, into the world. This act of love forms the very core of the gospel, a love story for the ages. And like any good story, the gospel is meant to be shared. It's a message that begs to be told, a truth that sets hearts free. The gospel finds its roots in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He walked among us, teaching, healing and offering a glimpse of God's boundless love. But his purpose extended far beyond earthly acts of kindness. Jesus came to bridge the chasm between humanity and God, a chasm created by sin. He willingly took upon himself the weight of our sins, dying on the cross as our substitute. His death was an act of unimaginable sacrifice, the ultimate display of love. But the story doesn't end there. Death couldn't hold him. On the third day, Jesus rose from the grave, conquering death and securing victory over sin and darkness. This resurrection is the cornerstone of our faith, the ultimate proof of God's power and the promise of eternal life for all who believe. John 3.16 captures the essence of the gospel with breathtaking simplicity. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. These words paint a vivid picture of God's immeasurable love for us. A love so profound that he willingly sacrificed his Son to offer us salvation. It's a love that knows no bounds embracing us in our flaws and imperfections. The gospel reminds us that we are loved beyond measure, not because of who we are or what we've done, but because of who God is. It's a love that pursues us relentlessly, inviting us into a relationship of grace and forgiveness. This love is the driving force behind the gospel, the motivation for every act of kindness, every word of hope offered in Jesus' name. One of the most beautiful aspects of the gospel is its universality. It's a message for everyone, regardless of race, background or past mistakes. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 proclaims, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. This verse emphasizes that the gospel's power is available to all who choose to embrace it. It's a message of inclusivity, welcoming all who seek forgiveness and new life. Salvation, the gift of eternal life, is not earned through good deeds or religious rituals. It's a free gift received through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 states, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The gospel tears down walls of division, uniting humanity under the banner of God's love and grace. Why do we need saving? The answer is simple yet profound, sin. We've all fallen short of God's glory, making choices that separate us from his perfect love. Romans chapter three, verse 23 reminds us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This separation from God has dire consequences, leading to spiritual death and eternal separation from his presence. But the gospel offers a solution, a bridge back to God. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 states, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. We are saved by God's grace, a free and undeserved gift received through faith in Jesus Christ. The gospel doesn't simply forgive our sins, it wipes them away completely, making us new creations in Christ. The gospel is not merely a historical account or a set of religious beliefs. It's a living, breathing message that has the power to transform lives. 
As 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15 proclaims, here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. When we truly grasp the depth of God's love for us, it changes everything. It fills us with hope, purpose, and a desire to live lives that reflect his love. The gospel empowers us to forgive others, to extend grace, and to love unconditionally, just as we have been loved. The gospel is the heartbeat of Christianity, the source of our joy and the foundation of our hope. It's a message that deserves to be shared with passion and conviction, for it holds the power to change the world one heart at a time.